2K Fix Your Game. What's up guys? Welcome back to another realistic rebuild here on my channel. In this one, we're doing the complete the process Philadelphia 76ers. As you all know, this team is already good, but they're just missing like a few pieces to really be a championship contender. And obviously DeMarcus Cousins signed with the Warriors, so that's going to make it a lot harder. And usually in 2K, they resign them, so yeah. We've got a lot of pieces to work with, but we're going to have to also make a couple of moves. Here's the roster. Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, uh, JJ Redick signed back, Markel Fultz, Justin Anderson, and Zaire Smith, who they did pick up in that trade with Phoenix in the draft. Uh, he'll be a nice bench piece for us. Uh, they also got uh, Landry Shamit and Shake Milton. I don't know how good they'll be, but we'll see. So here's the rotation, and Ben Simmons is going to start at point guard. Fultz is going to come off the bench, which I think is what most likely will happen in real life. Let's see if we can make the playoffs. So Russell Westbrook wins MVP, averaging a triple-double again. This will be the third straight season he averages a triple-double. Doncic Rookie of the Year and Billy Donovan, Coach of the Year for the Thunder. Um, let's see. Embiid makes the All-NBA second team. Pretty good season from him. No Ben Simmons. So, uh, Luka Doncic on the first team for the Mavericks, I saw. And we were the fourth seed in the East. Uh, I probably expected, like, the two seed or the three seed, but four seed will still work for us. Um, we have a really good team. We're playing the Boston Celtics in the first round, though. I don't know why they don't do good in 2K, but... Uh, and Bede with the big season. Ben Simmons also a good season. Really all around good season from everyone. Fultz needs to develop a little bit more. So here in the first round, we're down three to one to Boston. They're a really good team as well. They got Kyrie and Gordon Hayward. So maybe we can extend the series to a game seven and maybe have a chance in Philly. But we are gonna win here in a close one by eight points and we'll be forcing a game six let's see what happens right now we're up 30 and it looks like we're gonna blow them out so we will be forcing a game seven in philadelphia and i really like our chances in that game seven kyrie is not really going off that much neither is gordon hayward so let's see what happens in home court but the celtics are up right now but it's still a close game anyone's game overtime and it looks like we're pulling away and we do end up winning in seven games after being down 3-1 so this is typical in 2k um yeah just fix your game even though this time it is in our favor and now we're up three to one on the Raptors in the second round. Let's hope they don't come back on us like we did to Boston. But it looks like they're gonna blow us out here and force a game six. <sighs> 2K. How oh, I love this game. DeMar DeRozan went off. He dropped 50. DeMar DeRozan dropped 50 on our heads. Oh my god. Yeah. We do end up winning the series though. So JJ Redick had a huge game for us. And it looks like we'll be moving on to the conference finals. I have not done anything to this team yet except some rotation movements. In the conference finals, we're playing Milwaukee and we're up 3-1 to one right now. I don't know what's up with all these three ones, but... I mean, 2K is weird like that, and we have a close game here. We can try to end it, and we do end up losing by three points. So there'll be another game, and yeah, we'll just have to test our luck. Giannis with a huge game for Milwaukee. He's been doing good this whole series. It looks like we might be having another close game, and they finally pull away in the fourth. So, and Bede's not really playing to his potential. I don't know why, but game seven again. 
I think we've had two game sevens. We had the game seven against Boston and um, a game six against Toronto, I think. But we are going to close it out here in seven games and be moving on to the NBA Finals. Most likely playing the Warriors. Uh, I would be surprised if it's not the Warriors in the Finals. So we are playing the Golden State Warriors in the Finals. There was a two, two seed somehow. I guess because Cousins was out for a bit, but they do win game one. They win game two. We might honestly get swept. They win game three as well. Like, uh, yeah, and they sweep us. What do you expect? And with the 20th pick in this draft, we are going to take a center. Yudoka Azubuki, I believe, from Kansas. So Luau Cabarro is not going to play for us next season, and I'd rather get some value for him um, in free agency. One guy who I really want to go after and is our only target, Clay Thompson. I think he he's won his rings with the Warriors. Maybe he signs with Philly, you know, to prove that he can do it on another team. So we did end up signing Clay Thompson. This is what the roster is looking like. Ben Simmons, Embiid, Klay Thompson, Dario Saric, Fultz, who is probably going to play shooting guard for us. And yeah, we're looking pretty good. I expect this team to be a top two seed, if not the one seed. And let's see if it happens. So Russell Westbrook wins MVP again, but not averaging a triple-double. Quinn Early, Rookie of the Year. Aaron Holiday most improved and Brett Brown coach of the year for us and beat on the first team let's see if Simmons made a team it looks like he did not but that's okay we were the one seed this year we won 61 games and we're looking pretty good actually I like how this team is functioning we'll be playing the Wizards in the first round who don't have Dwight Howard looks like they didn't bring him back and Clay Thompson had a pretty solid season. Probably more effective on the defensive end, if anything. Fultz, not really that good, but. At this point, I shouldn't even be surprised that we're down 3-1 to the eight-seeded Wizards in the first round. When we've got Embiid, Clay Thompson, Ben Simmons, Markel Fultz. Um, yeah, just... To take this for a fact and accept it even though we win this game so we'll probably even come back from 3-1 down but why did why do you have to um i wish 2k would pay more attention to my league and not just spend their time on vc and my team and all these dumb things that like my team's not even fun anymore that's that's a video for another time though Looks like we are going to come back 3-1 down, but oh my god. They only scored 56 points in this game. What the heck? And we were 3-1 down to them. 2K, you need to fix your game, honestly. If I had a dollar for every 3-1 series I've been in on this channel... I wouldn't need to do YouTube. Not that I do it for the money, but come on. Like, I'd be a billionaire. Oh my God, 2K. Why so many 3-1 comebacks? I swear, bro. Like, <sighs> hopefully 2K19 is better or else, I don't know. And it looks like we're... I'm gonna have to go to a game seven against the Pacers here. Like, this never happens in real life. Rarely happens. If Indiana wins this series, I swear. Literally, they only have Oladipo and Aaron Holiday. Like, yeah, we better win this series. We should have won it in five games, but oh my God. Look at this team. So bonus scored the most points for them. Are you serious? Finally, 
Not a 3-1 series here. 3-2, we're down to the Knicks. Let's see if we can force a game seven or we're gonna have to pack our bags. So we do force a game seven. We'll be back in Philadelphia. Knicks are the two seed, so I can accept that they beat us if they end up beating us, but these other teams, like, we should not even be down to them. I don't know what's wrong with this game. Let's see if we can pull it out in Philadelphia, game seven. Looks like they're pulling away in the fourth quarter. We do make a run, though, and we still end up losing. <sighs> and B didn't really have a great playoff run, so I think that's why we lost. Ben Simmons wasn't scoring as usual. Knicks Warriors in the finals, and the Warriors take it all again. So here's the roster for the third season, I believe. Ben Simmons, Embiid, Klay Thompson, Markel Fultz, Dario Saric, Covington. Pretty much the same team, just adding Klay Thompson, obviously, from last year. I expect another one seed from the team, at, at the least a two seed. Let's see what happens. So Russell Westbrook wins another MVP. Charles Basie, Rookie of the Year. Robert Williams, Most Improved. And Trent Peterson for us, Coach of the Year. Let's see if Embiid made another All-NBA team. Looks like he did not this year. Kind of surprising. But we were the one seed again, winning 60 games. One less than last year. Solid team, solid players, solid coach. We'll be playing the Milwaukee Bucks in the first round. So pretty tough matchup for us, but I think we have a better team than them. Klay Thompson averaged the most points. Then Embiid. Yeah, those aren't really good numbers for Embiid. That's probably why he did not make the All-NBA team. Another 3-1 series here in the first round. Oh, God. I, I don't know. I have a feeling that we might blow this one. They end up beating us here, so 3-2 series. I really have a feeling that we're going to lose this. I don't know why. 2K just likes to put the higher team 3-1 up and then crush their dreams. Come on, Philly. Let's just let's just close it. We don't need none of this Game 7 stuff. Like, we don't need to go... Oh, my. And we're going to go to a Game 7 in Philadelphia. Please, just end this series. Please. Close game. Why does it have to be like this every series? Milwaukee is going to win. I swear, 2K. So it seems like I have to do another season. I was hoping we would win the championship this season, but apparently we're not good enough. We're not good enough to beat the eighth seed. So we'll have to do another season. So for the season, same exact team. Everyone's just getting better. We've got nearly four 90s. Probably Fultz will get to a 90 before the end of the season. So we're gonna have four 90s on this team and we should win a championship barring any 2k finesse so javon quinterly for the magic mvp already in like his second or third season trent peterson again for the sixers coach of the year so i mean the stats are there ben simmons on the all nba third team and beat also on the all nba third team i mean we're getting the stats we're getting the wins we just need a ring to show for it i like this team a lot Obviously, 2K doesn't, but we're playing the Cavs with no LeBron. Should be a sweep. Most likely going to end up being 3-1 in someone's favor, but all around good stats. As I predicted, we should be sweeping this team. Actually, they win a game, so 3-1. And now we end up winning in five games. Yeah, this team's not really that good. They kept Rodney Hood and Colin Sexton, but... 
So against the Char Charlotte Hornets here in the second round. We're up 3-1. And they win another game. Oh my. We have to go to a game 7 against Charlotte. Are you serious? We end up winning, but... Why? Why? I know it feels like I'm criticizing 2K this whole video, but seriously, like... Oh. So it looks like we might be heading back to the finals. We're up 3-2 on the Bulls, and we end up winning in six games. Finally, an easy series for us. This Bulls team not really that good. Yeah, we should be in the finals. So in the finals, we're playing the Spurs, who decided to keep Kawhi Leonard. Klay Thompson with 29 points as we win game one. Yeah, this team's not all that good for an NBA Finals team, so we should be able to win. We're up 2-0. Joel Embiid with the 24 points, getting a little bit of a blocks as well. And we're up 3-0. They have Marc Gasol. I didn't notice they had him, but... Let's see if we can go for the sweep on the Spurs. We should be able to sweep them. I mean, Kawhi Leonard is not enough to face Klay Thompson, Embiid, Fultz, Ben Simmons. It's just too much firepower for one guy. But another 3-1 series now. Thank you, 2K, for this. Uh, let's see if we can win in five games or most likely we're going to a game seven. I mean, that, that's what this video is telling me. Game 7, probably. Maybe not. I'll hop in. So, as long as I don't completely blow this, we're going to be winning the NBA Finals here in the fourth year. We probably should have been in the Finals last year, to be honest. But they have Blake Griffin, too. I didn't notice they had Blake Griffin. So, pretty good team, actually. Blake Griffin. They still got Aldridge. Let's go. They got Marc Gasol, Kawhi Leonard, Lonnie Walker, DeJounte Murray. Pretty good defensive team, actually. So that's probably why they're in the finals. But yeah, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the Sixers organization. I think what they did with the trust the process stuff and tanking was pretty smart by them because... They knew that if they tried to compete, they were going to be stuck in mediocrity like some other teams, like maybe the Hornets, a um, couple other teams that I can't really think of right now, but the Hornets stand out as one. The Grizzlies, uh, they're just being mediocre, not really tanking or competing to the max level. So, I mean, it's good for business because if you're tanking, obviously you're going to lose revenues, but... In the long run, it is going to work for you. Like, if you make the right draft picks, Embiid, Ben Simmons, they got Fultz, which wasn't too good of a pick in some people's eyes. Maybe they should have taken Jason Tatum, but still a good pick. I mean, and we ended up winning a championship. I think the Sixers' only competition really in the East are the Raptors and the Celtics. Maybe the Bucks, but I don't really see it. I'll let you guys see the ceremony. So Kawhi Leonard had 23, 7, and 5 for them. Not really doing too much. Blake Griffin had a bad game. So did Aldridge and Gasol. Fultz was our leading scorer. So there you have it. Let's see who got finals MVP. So Markel Fultz of all people with the finals MVP. Dang. So that's going to do it for this complete the process 76ers rebuild. Let me know what you guys think of this team. Let me know if it was realistic enough. Let me know what you guys would have done. Also, leave a comment who I should do next. I'll probably be taking a little break here and there. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. But it's life I cannot change.